Hello my beautiful beardy friends, let's talk about how you can grow a beard if you can't. There are some little tricks in here that I know you will benefit from, let's go check them out. So if you're new to this channel, please remember to subscribe and hit that bell notification because that means a lot to me. And today we're going to talk about little techniques that you can use if you're not happy with the growth of your beard or if you think you can't grow a beard. Um, so yeah, let's look at all of those. The first ones are a little bit sneaky. Okay, so the first thing I want you to realize is there is no magic pill. Okay, no matter what happens when you type in to Google how to grow a beard, pills to grow a beard, uh, supplements to grow a beard, nothing has been proven to work. I'm going to talk about the things that have got a little bit of science behind them, but ultimately the only thing these products do is separate you from your money. They do not help you anyone grow a beard. So don't fall into the trap of thinking you need vitamins. Don't fall into the trap to think you need anything other than what I'm going to talk about in this video. Okay, so the first thing you can do, and I've labeled these next two kind of fake it. And I don't mean to be derogatory when I say fake it. It's just that, you know, maybe you need a little bit of outside help. And I am absolutely okay with a little bit of outside help. You know, it's a sliding scale. I use beard balm and beard oil. Um, and that is outside help to make me have the beard that I want to grow. So if you need a little bit extra help, then these are the products that I think you should look at. So there's two. The first one is beard dye. And so essentially it's a really thick, um, really sort of strong semi-permanent dye that gets pasted onto your skin. And ultimately it's there to define the lines of your beard. And so if you decide to go down this route of dyeing your beard and skin underneath, um, you just need to make sure you go to a barber who knows what they're doing. Like all of these things, when you're just trying to emphasize what you've got, you can overdo it, it can be done wrong, it needs to be balanced, it needs to be professional. So don't skimp out on money um, when you're paying for these sort of services because you'll regret it, I promise you. Um, yeah, so go check out what your local barber has to offer when it comes to dyeing your beard. Uh, if you've got any recommendations for uh, really good ones, let people know in the comments because I'm sure that would help. The second thing that you can do are these beard fibers. And so they're little tiny powders or a spray. They're called topic hair fibers. And what you do is sprinkle on the kind of top of the hair. Look, I could probably use some right about here to define this edge, but you sprinkle these hairs. I think you can also sort of lock them in place with like a gel or a dropper, but essentially it's just a way of adding sort of fake hairs to your real hairs to make them grow, uh, sorry, appear darker. And so it's very similar to um, fake eyelashes where they kind of put thicker hair on the lighter eyelashes to make them look, look fuller. So we're doing the same thing for your beard. The fibers attach to the smaller hairs, clump around there. So it's not like you're you know, emphasizing something you don't have. You have the hairs there, it's what it sticks to. Um, but you're just sort of making them more obvious with little tiny fibers. And so some people have found that to be an awesome way to even up un uneven beard growth. And once again, don't skimp out on product. Uh, uh, this one is called Topic Hair Fibers and they've got a lot of good reviews online. Okay, so the next thing I want to talk about is medicine. Now, my disclaimer here is if you decide to go down the medicine route, please check with your doctor first. If you've got any health conditions, it's probably a good idea even if you don't. So please make sure you speak to a health professional. Um, but the first thing I'm gonna talk about in terms of medication is minoxidil. So minoxidil is a topical treatment. It's actually made for people with balding uh, spots and retaining and growing hair on their head. This has not been approved for use on the face, but loads of people are using it. And so there's, a, there's subreddits, uh, minoxidil beards, I think it's called, where where people go and you can look at their progress. Now, the thing about this is there are a load of side effects. There are so many side effects um, that you really do have to weigh up whether or not it's suitable for you. You can also sort of like start it 
and, uh, and stop, but it's a topical treatment that you put on your skin regularly. Some people have seen that they use it for like, you know, a few months and then stop and the hair still grow. But for most people, I believe that the moment that you stop using this topical treatment is the moment you can expect your hair to regress back to where it was. So um, yeah, it is something that is expensive. You have to use it for a long period of time. And so, you do have to work out if medication is the right thing for you. Maybe it's not the second thing you should try, but maybe it's one of the last things. So yes, medications, there are some medications out there that work, but let's talk about supplements because there's a lot of supplements that really do not work just like the oils, the balms, the pills, um, there's a load of things that you can take and have been in, uh, sort of shown to improve the amount of testosterone, which gets turned into DHT, which uh, helps your beard or signals to your beard to grow thick. Um, but really, I think all of these scientific studies, even though they see a percentage increase, there's really, uh, you know, the science is out as whether or not, you know, yeah, it increases your testosterone, but does it, that reproducibly and uh, reliably translate into a thicker beard for most people, I'm not quite sure. Okay, in my last video, I did talk about this as well, which was increasing testosterone. We've talked about supplements, but there are some sort of like uh, science-backed studies that probably are good to do anyway. Um, it's things like high intensity exercise, it's things about eating well. All of these things um, can increase the amount of testosterone in your body. Go check out my articles that I've linked in the comments to look at all of the sort of science and the, the, the things that I know have been proven to work based on the peer reviewed literature. But essentially, you know, marginal increase in testosterone does that uh, translate to a thicker beard. I think probably if you if you're gonna go down this route, you really have to go all in and really look after yourself. Uh, don't take supplements, but just eat healthily, sleep well. Like all of these things, looking after yourself is the primary goal of sort of beard growing. You know, your beard can only grow as well as you are. And so looking after your health, exercising, high intensity exercise is a thing that, that people recommend, eating like tuna and leafy greens and you know all of the things that you know you should be doing anyway. If you're using your beers as an excuse to live a healthy lifestyle, then I think that's brilliant. Now, short beards are better for patchy beards. Let that be known. Um, there are a number of styles that you can sort of uh, attempt when you've got patchy or not such great coverage um, of your beard, but really it comes down to shortness. Now, uh, th this means a couple of things. So let's talk about the simplest one first, stubble, right? Stubble or slightly trimmed beards, you know, low trim on, an, on like a one or a two. Um, do look better. The longer your beard gets, and if you can't really grow a beard, the scragglier it looks. You know, beards rely on um, density to look good. So looking this way, not only have I got this front chin bit, but I've got all the hair behind it backing it up, and that's what makes it look thick and full and dense um, and sort of a solid mass on your face. Um, but if you I've uh, got patchiness or wispy. It can very, very quickly make your beard look just not as full and thick as you probably want it to, to be. So keeping it trimmed is the trick to that. You've got two options, super stubble. People love the stubble look. In fact, I think it's been shown to be more attractive than a full grown beard um, by uh, polls and, and whatever. I don't think it's actual science, but. Some polls have shown that women, uh, if that's your goal to attract women and you're a heterosexual, um, do actually like stubble over beards. So there we are. Uh, like I said, trimmed beards is great, but here's a trick. You can use beard styles to hide the, um, the weak parts of your beard and it make it seem super intentional. And you do that with fading. Okay, fading is, in, in my case, where I've got nothing to something, I've done a short fade here, you know, nothing or like very short to beard. And so you can fade it to skin. 
Now that takes skill, so you do need to approach a barber to achieve the best fade. Um, but for example, if you were struggling here, you could actually fade from a, like a really deep low fade into your chin, and that's absolutely okay, as long as your beard looks intentional. I think that's what makes a beard look really awesome. I've said it in my other videos, but make your beard intentional by really looking at your beard objectively and saying, you know what? This works, this I want to, you know, hide a little bit and just fade into the weaker spots if you can. Um, and like I said, get a good barber to do that because, oh, you don't want a bad uneven fade. Hmm. All right then, my beautiful beardy friends. So there are all the things you can do if you uh, want to grow a beard but you can't. Um, start with external products to help you. Maybe experiment a little bit with healthy lifestyles. Maybe experiment a bit with the testosterone boosting science and just, uh, you know, high intensity exercise, weightlifting exercises, all of those things. And I think the last resort really should be medication. Um, in there, really have a look at your beard and its style and make it look intentional. A scraggly beard does not look intentional. So yeah, fading, getting rid of the bits you aren't happy with, but working with what you've got will be far better. Remember your beard is really about you. It's your beard because it's unique. It may not be a Hollywood style beard, but it's yours and you can work with it. The moment you accept that and the moment you take control of the things you can control and stop worrying about the genetic or genetic influence uh, on your beard, you'll be much happier, I promise you. So yes, let me know in the comments what your top tips are and I shall see you in the next video. Get in my beard.